And thank you for watching our video session on creating assessments in Quaver Health and PE. My name's Ashley Cates. And my name is Kara Williams. Today, we are just going to take you through that basic process of all things assessments in Quaver Health and PE. We're going to identify some already existing assessments, and then we're going to show you where you can go to create them from scratch and be able to assign them to your students. So we're going to get started with Ashley taking us through just that basic process of editing things we already have available. So Ashley, take it away. So from your dashboard, if you remember the icon of resource manager, that is the icon that's going to take you where you can search for resources, customize resources, create resources, and even share resources with other educators in your district. So clicking into resource manager, you are going to see when it's launched. And on the right-hand side, you're gonna see the folder area and we're gonna create a folder for our video session today. Clicking into menu, we're gonna click new folder and we're gonna call this folder assessments. Now I've already picked out a couple of assessments that we are going to customize for our video session today. So we're gonna go over to resource sets and I'm gonna go down to my favorites and I favorited a couple items in here. So the first item that we're gonna customize is a health assessment. It's one of those quiz challenges. And remember in our health curriculum, the fourth lesson in every module is gonna have that summative assessment and it's that quiz challenge. So to view what that quiz challenge is, we're going to click into that resource go into menu and click view screens. And when you click view screens, you're gonna see every single activity screen for that lesson. Remember, it's gonna be that fifth activity screen from here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a copy of it and put it into the folder we created. So I'm gonna do that by clicking onto it, dragging it over to that folder. Once I see that gray rectangular bar with the yellow arrow pointing to it, I'm going to drop it into that folder. So now when I click on the arrow, there's my quiz challenge. Now let's customize it. So we're going to click into it. We're going to go to menu and click edit screen. You can rename it if you want to. So maybe I want to take out the quiz challenge part and name it just quiz. I can add columns. I can take away columns. Same thing with the rows. I can add a row and take away a row. Um, for this, let's just take away the first column. And you can even edit the top of the column topics, and you can even edit each individual question. So for this one, if I want to edit this question, I can click into it. I can add an image, an audio file, and I can even add and customize the answers in here too. So let's just add a test answer in here. So when we click into it, you can see. You can even delete some of the questions that are in this quiz challenge too. To do that, you click into one of the quiz challenge questions. And in that lower left-hand corner, you're going to click that trash can icon. And it's going to tell us that we're permanently deleting it. So now that I have everything that I want, I'm going to click save. And let's launch the customized quiz challenge that we created. So I'm going to launch it. And when I do, you're going to see that column that I took uh, got rid of. Let's click into that one question that we customized. You're going to see that answer that I added. And then that question I deleted. So that's for the quiz challenge. Now with every quiz challenge, we do have a quiz that you can do digitally or you can print it out and do it via pencil and paper. So going back to my favorites, I have already favorited that. So it's going to be the exact same thing that we saw in the quiz challenge, but in another format. So I'm going to click onto that. I'm going to drag it over to the folder I want it in and drop it into that folder. And now when I click into it, I'm going to edit this. And we're going to collapse all these questions so I can see more of what questions are being asked. But with these questions, I can drag and reorder these questions. I can click into questions and change the answers. I can even add images in with it too, if I wanted to also. So very similar to that quiz challenging and editing and moving items around with that too, with that customization. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and let's add our test answer there. And click save. So you saw I'd moved a couple questions around. I added that answer. Now we are going to launch this quiz. 
And from here, if you want to print it off, you can actually go up to that menu icon in the upper right hand corner and click print quiz. And when you do that, you're going to see all the answers and questions to the quizzes. And I can even show the correct answers too if you need that answer key if you're printing it off. But now that I've launched it, I'm going to click start. And we're going to go all the way down to that last question. Pretend I've been answering everything. And here's that test answer that I had modified and added into it. So that's another way to customize that quiz with that. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to customize a rubric for my PE teachers. So I'd already favorited a rubric. You're going to do that same thing that I was doing with the other two. You're going to click onto that resource. You're going to drag it over to the folder and you're going to drop it in there. And I'm now going to edit that resource by clicking into it. Go to menu, edit screen. And very similar to the other two, you can add columns, you can add rows, you can take away columns, you can take away rows. So let's say I just wanted to focus really in on what that skill is, which is catching a ball. So I take out the sporting behavior cooperation effort row. I take out the application and development movement concepts row. And I just have that skill row. You can even take away the column if you want to. You can change the wording around or even adjust the wording if you want to by clicking into those individual boxes with that too. Now, when I click save, I'm going to launch that rubric. And now there's my customized rubric from, um, from the Quaver Health and PE platform. So now we've identi identified those resources. Kara is going to take over from starting from scratch with these assessments. All right, Ashley's still going to navigate for us. So we're going to go back to the dashboard and you're going to click into that top area resource creation icon. So when she clicks into that, what you're going to see here are all things that you can fully edit within Quaver. But we're just going to focus on those same things that we played around with today. So when she clicks into quiz challenge, remember that's that Jeopardy style work um, worksheet type of activity we already built out. You're going to see it built out here where you can go ahead and choose to add your title there. You can change the categories. You can Take it down. You, you know what, Ashley? Let's delete all four of those last columns and just keep one, one column there. And then let's just keep it one through 50. We're not going to add any, any answers to all of them, but click into number 10 and then just put in a question, like a test question. She's getting fancy on us. And then put, you know, red. Oh, she see, look at I already her. had pink in my mind. <laughs> it's obeying. <laughs> and then select one. Because it makes you select, make sure you pick a choice or it won't let you save it. And now when she saves it, notice it gives you that one that you've already filled out. So when she saves the whole test here, that's going to put it into your custom screens folder. So go ahead and click OK, Ashley, and we'll show them that here in just a second. I don't want to go there yet. Next thing we're going to look at is quiz builder. So you notice it's got that A, B, C, D there. That's going to be your basic quiz. So as you go in, we're not going to really edit one of these. I just wanted to see how you could get in and do it. It's going to look just like it did when you pulled it from the resource manager area of the ones that from Quaver that are already created, but you literally can come in and build it start to finish however you want. You can still add audio, you can add pictures, you can add whatever questions and answers you want. Go ahead and click cancel there. Last one is that rubric builder. And so you saw how we built a rubric with it already built out from Quaver. This just allows you once again to build it from scratch, putting in your um, criteria. You can build it for pretty much any subject or a manipulative skill that you're working on, you can pull this into health lessons and PE lessons, really whatever you need to use it for. It's very customizable. Go ahead and click cancel on that. The last thing I want to show you though, real quick is student recording. So if Ashley clicks on student recording, what you're going to have the ability to do is type in the title of really what you want the kids to record. So I think you wanted to put in like a food groups thing or something, didn't you, Ashley? Mm -hmm. So food group video. So she's going to have them, you know, record a video of them finding something from one of the five basic food groups, and then they're going to submit a video for that. When she clicks save, again, it's going to take us back to our resource 
creation screen, but down here at the bottom, you're going to see that blue arrow, my custom screens. When she clicks on that arrow, it's going to take you into resource manager and you see the folder there with the star on it. That is where anything you create in the resource creation tab goes to automatically. So if you see test, if you click on that test right there, yeah, click on that. That's going to be when she launches it, you'll see that's going to be the one that we created from scratch. With the student recording, you'll be able to go in and assign that to the kids as well. So really, that is in a nutshell, a fast and furious version of assessments and Quaver Health and PE. Um, again, we've got lots of things already in the content. Remember, in your health lessons, every fourth lesson is going to have that quiz challenge in it that you can pull over, edit, change as much as you want to. If you don't like the way the questions are, you want to add some more answer choices, you can do that. You also are going to have the ability to go into that resource creation area and create those there. Remember, in PE, every third lesson is going to have a rubric that you can go in and edit as well. I believe that's everything we've got to show you for today. Ashley, anything else you wanted to add or you think we're good? I believe that's everything. All right. Thank you so much for joining us.